Well, um, good morning, everyone, and uh, well, thanks for the invitation to uh, to come uh, here. It's my first interaction with the space uh, with the sun, so I wasn't exactly sure how to pitch uh, the whole thing. So um, I don't know if uh, focusing on the experience of these students in the fly your pro or fly your thesis, or uh, they are now called uh, gravity programs, or in the science behind this. So I did a little bit of three of the three. So I'm going to cover all three. Um, so, well, first of all, um, well, uh, fly your thesis was generally common. So, uh, before this gravity program was generally um, called as fly your thesis, but now they ha they got many different something your thesis. So, my particular the one that I supervised was drop your thesis. Um, I and there is also fly your thesis or your thesis and so on. I will go through all of them today. Plus, um, since I'm not though an ESA uh, member uh, of the staff, just delivering or telling you about all this um, ESA Academy, all the activities of this ESA Academy, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with first explaining the experiment that we wanted to run, and then go through the different gravity programs that we had um, that, were, um, that were there for us to apply, and then uh, the project life cycle, a little bit about the experimental campaign, and then some final notes. So the experiment that we run, basically um, I have been for some time working on um, designing trajectories to land on asteroids. And well, asteroids, um, they have an environment, a dynamical environment, which is basically uh, with microgravity. So uh, gravity is 10,000 times as more than the one of the at sea level. The forward means is that you can actually, you don't need a lander with full lander gear to just uh, uh, slow down your fall and just um, land, basically touch down at slow velocity. You can just drop something from very far away and let it drop all the way. And it will touch down the asteroid at about just a few centimeters per second or a few tenths of centimeters per second at worst. Therefore, purely ballistic descent trajectories are feasible for small bodies. The problem is that with a purely ballistic descent trajectory, if when you touch down, you don't dissipate sufficient energy, then you will basically bounce out of the system and you might not come back at all to the surface. You might end up in orbit or just an escape trajectory. So uh, from here we could write up a, um, so we, we came up with uh, this uh, science question, which was, uh, well, science and engineering question, which was how much energy dissipation might occur naturally on an asteroid during a ballistic landing of a small box with uh, just a four, four kilogram system that you want to land, like for example, a scientific payload that you want to land on, a, on an asteroid. We were thinking here on a three U CubeSat, which uh, is a small box of, uh, 10 by 30 centimeters, 10 by 10 by 30 centimeters, and weighs about four kilograms. So in November 2017, um, we, um, well, we organized a few students, they organized themselves uh, to put a proposal in. They came up with this um, these, um, uh, schematic of what we wanted to, uh, to propose as an, an exp experiment in microgravity conditions, which was very, very simple having an asteroid ground simulant, so some sort of regolith, and then just pushing the CubeSat uh, to the velocity that we wanted it is to touch down the ground and just recording how it was, the velocity just before the touchdown and the velocity after the touchdown. Now remember that this will happen in microgravity conditions before we needed something to push the release mechanism to push the CubeSat to the right velocity because there is no gravity during the experiment. So with this um, in mind, then, um, well, we look at ESA Academy. ESA Academy is what uh, used to be known as um, ESA Educational Program. Everything, all the programs that were run within the ESA Educational Program are now within ESA Academy. And basically has two main pillars, uh, the hand-on uh, space projects and the training and learning um, programs. So, um, so there are a lot of things in here. I don't know if they can be read, um, but the ones that we will talk about now are the gravity programs, which are all these fly your thesis, uh, drop your thesis, orbit your thesis, etc. I'm gonna just give a brief, a, bre a very brief uh, overview of all of them um, in an order which is inversely proportional to how this relates with my um, uh, experiment. So we will start with the spin your thesis then. Spin your thesis um, runs every year. So there is an opportunity to submit a proposal for an experiment with the students every year. Um, and it's for to have experiments in hypergravity conditions, basically. So more than one G, up to 20 Gs. 
and it's for both MSc and PhD students, uh, and it's uh, run in the last diameter centrifuge in STEM. Then the following is the Spin Your Thesis Human Edition, which is a sort of new thing. They have only done one, um, one edition so far. Um, so in here, basically, you take one of your students and you spin it up uh, to 4.5 Gs, at almost 4.5 Gs. And um, again, uh, th well, this runs every two years, not every, um, not every year. And um, these are for uh, well, f up to four teams. I didn't say in the previous one. Previous one you, so they, they select four teams per year. And each team must have at least uh, each up to four students. For the human edition, they also select up, up to four teams uh, with four to six students. And it's running the short arm centrifuge in DLR. Then the following one is Orbit Your Thesis, which, um, uh, which is basically to um, propose an experiment using one of the ice cubes in the um, International Space Station. And this also runs every two years, and they select only one student team with more than six students uh, per team. And it's to run long duration microgravity experiments, uh, also for MSCs and PhD students. Um, but I'm not sure actually, now that I mentioned my MSCs, I don't think there is a, for these ones, certainly there is, I don't think you need to be an MSC student, probably an, M an undergraduate student, could, an undergraduate team could also apply for this. For this one, for some reason, they specify masters and PhDs. Now, the following will be the Fly Your Thesis, which is the first one that was really relevant for us, and we were very tempted to try because it looks like a lot of fun. Um, and again, this runs every year, and they select up to four teams with a minimum of four students each team. And basically, this is to run microgravity uh, experiments again in a parabolic flight uh, in one of these um, Airbus 310 uh, 0G um, uh, planes. And they... Um, the only problem we saw here was that um, we, so the microgravity conditions that you achieve during these uh, uh, parabolas was, uh, were 10 to the power of one of three Gs. And in an asteroid, you will actually have much lower gravity than this. And the following one, which is the drop your thesis, was actually ideal for us because you can achieve, uh, you can achieve 10 to the power of minus, minus six G uh, conditions during the drop. So it's drop your thesis which also runs once a year. They choose uh, up to two teams. In our year, we were the only one uh, that uh, were um, running experiments. Um, it says here up to four students per team, but in reality, we were six, uh, six students, which um, uh, probably means that there is always a little bit of flexibility. Um, in fact, one of my students was not European. The other five were. And so the student that was not European could not um, could not access to any of the funding, but was allowed to also to go to the Sun Tower and participate as one member and one more member, but without receiving uh, or being paid expenses. So those expenses were paid by the university instead. So basically, as it, uh, this works, um, there is a in 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 Zam in, in Bremen. So this is this drop tower is a 150 meters uh, tall um, tower. Um, inside, you got uh, this massive tube, uh, which basically you use to drop. Uh, gondola with your experiments, and you have 4.7 seconds of uh, drop uh, where, during which you can perform your experiments. There's also the catapult mode, which instead of just dropping something, you actually sh shoot it up from below, and it goes all the way up and down. And during that, the, during that time, this parabola, you got, uh, you got um, uh, the, the, the 9.3 seconds of microgravity uh, conditions. Um, so, a little bit about the life cycle of, of the whole project. So uh, this runs in one year. I put here the dates of my own project, but uh, every year more or less uh, are, are considered. So we, st we submitted the proposal in November 2017. We got the selection just one month after. We started working on it as soon as the students uh, arrived to, um, I didn't mention, um, I'm a lecturer in Cranfield University. We run one year MSc courses. And the students arrived in late October. Am I right, Jenny? Late October, right? Late, late September, right. Yes. So, the, the, late, so late September, in October, we started working with the students, uh, preparing the proposal. And then so we had about um, a month and a half to prepare the proposal in. 
put the proposal in and we submit it in mid-November 2017. Then mid-December you get the answer back uh, and then everything starts very very quickly and uh, the students uh, are pretty busy with uh, everything that is going on. In uh, late January, February they had a one week um, workshop training a week in uh, Redou, Belgium, in which they were uh, well, all the teams participating in flight your thesis, spin your thesis and everything meet during that week. And so they have a chance to meet among, among all of them, present their works. Then they are, um, they have several workshops uh, on communication skills, on uh, project and risk management, on um, uh, automation and CAT and some other stuff. And they also meet with the engineers working at each one of the facilities, so in drop your thesis, to start speaking about, or deciding about the, the experiment, and to start developing uh, that experiment. Then, um, during the experiment preparation, uh, you got a deadline every three months, more or less, in which you submit a report which is evolving towards uh, uh, the deadline of September. Um, in September, then, you present the last, very last report, which has ready to show that you have run all the experiments, you got all the material, you are fully ready to uh, for the campaign, the experimental campaign. The experimental campaign was in November 2018, so just about one year after uh, submitting the proposal, and it ran in two weeks. Uh, the first week was preparing everything and setting everything up, um, and then the second one week was running the experiment. So these are. Um, the students that participated in that team, uh, the, the team was called Land 3 u um, So um, there was one Indonesian, and then which was the PhD student, and then five MSc students, which were all uh, Europeans, um, British and French in this case. Um, so it was a very intense year for the PhDs, uh, for the students, um, because they were very, as in December, which was, is still the beginning of the MSc course, they were already, they knew already they were involved in this and there was the campaign at the end. Uh, and so basically the whole year went around um, this, this project. Uh, they did the MSc, all of them, except one, did the MSc projects, the individual research projects on this, two minutes. And, and basically the project evolved. So from the proposal, you can see the schematic of the proposal, the design reviews, the experiment started to evolve quite a lot. We actually managed to get a vacuum chamber and at the end, the experimental campaign, you see the, the picture of it, I think. So how this works, this is the vacuum chamber, which uh, you can see the picture of it, which uh, sits inside the gondola that you will drop from the tower. Then this is the, well, this is the setting up of the whole gondola with all the, the vacuum chamber and all the electronics. Uh, this is the gondola, uh, which is then pushed up all the way the 150 um, uh, meters of, uh, of tube that will, um, and which will be like, will be dropped. The, the whole tube is then um, in vacuum, um, and then the whole thing falls all the way down. And obviously, in order to avoid uh, just a, a catastrophic crash at the end, then there is this uh, uh, pool of uh, um, um, how do you call it. Uh, yeah, polystyrene. Uh, and so they uh, were having some fun uh, with it. So this is a video of the drops in which you can see the experiment on one side. So this is the image that you see in the control room. And you can see on one side uh, the chamber with the vacuum chamber with the whole experiment, which didn't work in the first time because the rail was moving, and the gondola falling all the way down and how it just sinks into the pool. And I'm not sure, there are five drops. I'm not sure if I got the time to show them all. We had issues. Uh, well, the students had a lot of issues. Uh, you can see the, here the regolith is, uh, is just moving all the way around because of the transition from 1G to 0G, which we didn't expect such a, a brutal transition in which makes everything move. So then they had just one week to figure out a way, um, so which was quite stressful and a lot of work. Uh, to figure out a way. So I think it was a great experience with them for them just to see a real hands-on project uh, from uh, scratch uh, to uh, run the whole thing. And you could see them, there is no uh, audio here, but on uh, drop four, which is the first successful, you could hear the, the shout of uh, happiness uh, with everything uh, working fine. So you can see that there was a lot of dissipation of uh, energy or velocity at touchdown. And so we had, uh, uh, two successful drops here, and on top of that, we were then given two more drops in February 2019. Which, uh, 
So just a final note. Um, uh, so there are actually a lot of these uh, um, gravity programs that are now open. In particular, the Drop Your Thesis is, is open for proposals, which will close in October 2019. The Fly Your Thesis is also open, and will also close in October. The Orbit Your Thesis runs every two years and is closed at the moment. I'm not sure when they need to open it. Uh, Spin Your Thesis is open and closes in December 2019. And I didn't speak, but because this is a new uh, program that I saw when I was looking at the actual dates, uh, well, if they were open or not, this uh, is uh, FYR, which is uh, Fly Your Rocket. So you've got another um, program, uh, which is about rocketry, which is also open and finishes or is will be closed in October 2019. So, yeah, it is... Uh...